Hey everyone, how are you guys? I have a cool Amazon find for you guys. I hope this not only saves you guys time, money, but definitely the convenience of making wax seals. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I used to do the wax seals the old fashioned way, and I have an easier way, and that um, you could do wax seals by just doing the wax seals glue gun sticks. They actually sell wax seals glue, that fits in your glue gun, um, the larger glue gun that is, not the mini. And um, you just heat up your glue gun and squeeze out how much you want, and then you use your wax seal stamper. So down below, I put a drop link um, for all the items I'm gonna share with you guys. And uh, so you can go straight to it. It is an Amazon affiliate link that I have because I'm an affiliate with Amazon. But hey, I'm gonna show you with you guys all the choices that you have. Obviously, as you can see, I have gold and I have red because I've been working on a Christmas project for you guys and I wanted to put these in them. So um, that's why I have this. But the glue that they have choices there on Amazon, they have purple, they have pink, they have sparkly, they have all kinds of wax colors that you can choose from. And the box that I got them to come in was just like this. The box is gorgeous. I could totally see somebody using this box and turning into like a mini book or something. Um, it's just a cute box. And what you do is each box, like for instance, each box color, the price is different. And so I know I really wanted red and it seemed like it was weird because red was the cheapest. And I loved how red did um, as well as the gold. Gold was a little bit thinner when it came out of the glue gun kind of thing. But the red, you get 12 large sticks for only, uh, what was it, $10.99. The gold, you get 12 sticks for $11.99. Some will say, oh, wow, that's kind of pricey. Really, it's not. Because as you can see here, um, this is how much I made, not counting my oopsies, <laughs> you know, the, the, the ones that I didn't work out. I have a whole box of oops that I can melt down the old-fashioned way. But for two boxes, this is how many seals I got. Um, like I said, I have an oopsie box and I'll grab it. I'll show it to you guys. And this box seriously is literally filled with oops. Um, cause I was trying to learn, look at all that. Look at all those. I'll melt those down later the old fashioned way. But, um, what you get here, look at all those steel stamp seals and it turned out beautiful. So first I wanted to show you guys, I don't know if I can show you guys, uh, I hope this may work a little bit better having a white backdrop. There you go. All right, camera, do me good. Um, so you got cool crowns um, and things like that. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I'm like, oh, there's gotta be an easier way. <laughs> and so I found this company and down below, I'll put a link for each color, like gold, red, all the colors that this company has. And all you do is click on that link and check it out, add it to your cart kind of thing. Totally loving it, especially with Amazon with the free shipping, you can't beat that. So not knowing what kind of glue gun that I needed to use, what temperature, the company uh, shows, you know, in that same listing, you know, what glue gun they recommend. And I decided not to. I decided <laughs> to venture off and get um, a one that I wanted. And while well, I'm going to teach you what not to do, well, although the gun works just fine, I got one that was 120 volts, which was 80 watts. So I figured hot, hot temperature was the best. Uh, well, not necessarily true. I found that every time I did my wax seals, Holly and I, when I went to go visit Holly, um, we did this together. This I cannot give myself credit for this. Holly, thank goodness for her, she helped me with these one late night when the boys were sleeping. I recommend, you know, obviously getting the glue gun that they suggest, but I say a low watt, like 40. 50 watt because the hot the hot glue gun melted it so hot that it was runny and literally to the point as you can see I have a battle wound you see that dot right there <laughs> I did the worst thing when the glue gun was sitting down on a counter I reached underneath it to grab something and one little drip decided to make its way on my hand ouch a root I'll meanless to say that that really really hurt <laughs> <laughs> a few curse words, but I, I managed to be fine. So my recommendation, if you are going to get this glue, follow the instructions that they offer. And I do recommend a glue gun, but I didn't want to pay the price. So at least if anything, if you don't want to pay the price for their glue gun, get a low wattage. You know, um, I noticed that the glue sticks that you do get 
from the company are the larger glue sticks. So they're not compatible with your mini glue gun kind of thing. So I'm definitely going to get a low water. Now, say if you can't afford to buy another glue gun, what Holly and I did, we, because mine has an on off button. Anytime I felt like the glue was getting runny, I turned it off and let it sit for a minute and then, you know, spit out the glue. But I'll tell you what, it was so nice just to squeeze the circle and then take your little stamper. Like here, I got a stamp set, which I want to share with you guys too. Another cool find I found. And all you had to do is just make that circle and then stamp it with your little stamper, which is awesome. All right, now that I have this up, this here was so cool. I found, I bought this the same time I got the glue sticks kind of thing. This kit comes with five, uh, six different metal like uh, stamping heads. Like here is a bumblebee, which is so cool. This whole kit along with the handle was only, what did I pay for this? It was only $17.85. But wait till you see the type of uh, stamping heads you get. It's really cool. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm calling it stamping heads. As you can see, I use this one. This set came with a crown. And then a bee, like a bumblebee. I don't know if you guys can see that. Gorgeous. A heart. And then a rose. And I wish I kept shopping because they have the same company that I got this from has the Christmas ones, like Santa Claus. And um, there's a cute rose. This one has the tree of life. You can see that. And then this one says, it says, uh, thinking of you or love you. I'm not sure which one, but it was really cool. I wished I got the Christmas sets. They had the Christmas sets for $18.59, but you, when you buy these online, usually it's like $10 just for one, one handle, one head kind of thing. This comes with six different types of head and one handle and a cute box. I, would, I wish I had these in my shop, but I don't. But so what I did is down below is a direct link. I put down there um, in bold Santa kit. Um, they have this kit and other ones. Also down below is the direct links to the different colors of uh, wax and uh, uh, the gun that I got. If you want to try it out, just be aware. So, but I hope this helps you guys out. It did truly help me out for my kits um, that I'm putting together because um, you guys can use them for your little, you know, what have you. So I hope this was a great share. I hope you guys check it out and maybe you guys can grab a pack or two. Again, I wish I had the Santa set to show you guys right now. Actually, today I'm going to go buy it because I would really love to have the Santa seals to put in those kits that I have put together for you guys. Again, great price. I mean, free shipping, right? And then $17.85, you get all that. So I'm telling you, I hope you guys do try those glue sticks out. I, I, I totally loved it. Just again, please make sure you get a lower temp glue gun and do not put your hand underneath the glue gun. <laughs> Ouch. All right, guys, until next time, I hope this helped you guys out. Check out the links down below. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. You guys have a beautiful day. Bye.